Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in Steampunk, picking up pretty close where we left off. So, last episode, we made our little trolley train, um, and I'm uh, very happy with it. You know, let's take it. Let's take it for a ride. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna go on a on a ride, and let's see if anything bad happens. All right, look at our trolley chugging along. Nice. Anyway, so yes, we made the trolley, um, made a little change to our train platform area, and I'll show you that in just a moment after we get home. We gotta be real careful coming up here because our buddy dragged me to train, and of course it's gigantic compared to ours, and it's right there. It's right there. Let's hope we don't hit it. All right, we're good. Oh, in a stream, it was parked on the tracks, and I ran right into it. All right, so I haven't extended the second track. I just literally, it's just been a case of, oh, yes, I love when I run over mobs. Um, but, yeah, but we will get to that soon, so. All right, look how perfect this comes in when you hold the space bar. Just coming in. It stops. The door is open, and we're back. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> for your lives. Do I have another one? No, apparently not. Weird. I only had one. All right, but what I added up here, if you'll notice, there's some beams here because there's a part that comes out, and that's because I added a little uh, landing pad. Do you guys remember our airship we made? We had it parked over there. I forgot about the damn thing. So we have one here, and I have a space here that I might make the... the uh, ship one. Let's see if we can find this. Um, we'll see if I make it on camera or not. It's We just got to make another airship. Another hull, which was just that. Pretty easy. And this. The problem is, is I got I to gotta do all this crap and I really just don't feel like doing that right now. Well, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. We're going to go down into the depths because I kind of want to the, the, the way I'm finding I learn about stuff, and it is not the right way to do this, by the way, kids, um, is uh, simply a case of making the items in the book and then being like, oh, what is this thing? And then figuring it out. So let's go ahead and head down to our workshop. And so, all right, this is where I'm, I'm kind of stuck because I could make this chip which is mostly going to be aesthetic or we can go in here and we can go back and see if we can make a lot of these items that we didn't make before. And I don't know what a lot of this stuff does. Um, that I've heard is kind of a pain in the butt, but we can make all these parts. We've got some, we could always make the schematic cannon. That would be kind of cool. Uh, we made most of this stuff, a uh, stress -a meter and a speedo meter to kind of tell you how much is going on there. A uh, gantry carriage moves along gantry shafts and will move any blocks or super glue structures attached to it at the same time. Ooh. Well, where do we make, what, what's the gantry shafts? Let's look that up. Because I just, I just got an idea. All right, so it's just that gives us eight. Let's hit W over this. That's the coolest part about this mod. All right, this is what I'm thinking, guys. Oh, see, now this is what happens when I start thinking of dumb crap. All right, so let me show you guys something real quick. Oh, whoops. Well, I guess we're doing it this way. So, this is what it looks like. Uh, oh, clock's on. This is what it looks like outside of our warehouse, okay? Um, or workshop, more or less. Um, and if we look right down here, you're going to see that what I did not put that there. That is the roofing to the next level down. So, if we come down here and we see how big this room is you'll notice 
how much bigger this room is. That's the beam we're seeing. Okay, so right outside of that wall is the same thing as it was before, right? See? See how exciting this is? It's a cockroach. And that's a part down below as well. Get out of here. I don't want you in my base, cockroach. Get out of here. So what if, now we've got this power down here, right? That we've been using. We got all of this uh, this juice that's spinning just fine. What, I wonder where our house is in perspective to where we are. So what are these guys? Um, what if, what about over here? That's still pretty close. I'm just thinking, what if we can make a little gantry thing that takes us out of here? Oh, that might be something we'd have to work on later. I don't know if that's something we can do today. But we're going to, we're going to, and, and this is what I was talking about earlier, about just making parts and for making parts, kind of just learning things. I don't know where this block came from. Where did this come from? Was it from the wall over here? Maybe it was. We'll go right there. All right. So, uh, this is kind of what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll uh, see what we can do from a, just a fun little gantry thing in here. So let's go ahead and start with that piece because that piece seems pretty interesting. So let's do that. Uh, let's actually get rid of all of this stuff because this is all the train stuff we already made. All right, so let's make this. So what do we need for this guy? We need uh, a cog wheel, an andesite casing, and a slab. All right, well, that seems pretty easy. He says, uh, there's a slab. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. There's an andesite casing. And I'm getting a feeling pretty soon here we should have a cogwheel. Nice. All right. Let's go make this guy. So it's that, that, and that. All right. So that makes that. Okay. Now, did it have us make the gantry things anywhere let's see if that's somewhere i just want to make sure i don't make it when it's like blocked back behind something no i'm not seeing it wait what was that what was that those are connectors okay no a tesla coil charges electrical items and can be used to inflict damage to i want a tesla coil That seems tricky. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, so we made this guy. We did not make those. Let's look up some of these. So, yeah, it was just, uh, uh, let's see, a little bit of andesite, a little bit of Monica in your life. All right. Um, all right, so we'll just go, we're just going to make two sets right now because that's already 16. Okay. And then uh, we'll put this stuff away because I don't want to mess anything up. All right, so uh, we'll play here. Remove this. Okay. Nope. Oh, it can go that way. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't know how to reverse it. All right, so if we want it here. Okay, that's pretty cool. But then I guess we have to reverse this to make it go the other way. Okay. So, let's see what this says. Uh, used to relay rotational force in a line as well as an easy method to change from horizontal vertical direction. Okay. Clutches uh, relay rotational force through them in a straight line until powered by roadshow, which breaks the rotation on the, I don't know what that means, but let's make this. And a site casing shaft redstone. See these one, these early ones are pretty darn easy. All right. So, and the site casing. Uh, a shaft and some redstone, which was here. All right. Some of this stuff might be insanely easy to you guys. Oh, 
dinner's ready. Uh, insanely easy to you guys, but not so much for me. All right, so what if we break this, right? And we put this guy in, okay? So that is turning uh, counterclockwise, right? All right, so what happens if I get this, and do we have any sticks? There we go. All right, so that is going uh, counterclockwise. Oh, it just stops it. I don't know how I feel about that. What if I want it? I, th I thought maybe, maybe it would turn it the other way. What if I put it on top? Same thing. All right, well, that stinks. What happens if I do this? All right, nothing there. All right, so this is just something that apparently we can turn things on and off with. So we could do like that, put this here, and then be like, nope, yep, nope. All right, okay, so that's that. We, we did that. Okay, we get a shaft, great. Um, Gearboxes provide most compact way of changing horizontal, okay. Uh, rope pulley can move blocks or larger structures vertically. Okay, well, that's how we make an elevator. That might be a way to go as well. <laughs> Stick with me here. All right, this goes all the way up. To here. Now let's just see something. Let's hit M. All right, so this is in the middle of our walkway, right? What is this thing? This is right in the middle of our walkway. So when we move to there, we're moving to here. Because watch, if we go this way. So my question is, now I've, I've opened a whole kettle of fish. Because <clears throat> we could always put like a thing here, maybe a three by three, put a fence around it, and that could go down there. It could even be back here, but now we're getting pretty far from the workshop. So I don't know how great that would be. All right, well, now I'm just now I'm just talking out loud. This is what I was talking about, where we were just going to kind of play around and, and, and see what we could do. And I'm sure you guys are furiously, furiously typing, telling me what I'm doing wrong, and that's fine. Um, all right, well, let's make this. You used to relay rotational force in a line, as well as an easy method to change from horizontal. Oh. Keys change, right? How do we make this? Oh my God, these are so easy. One, two, three. I like that I would like jumped into the harder things and skipped all this stuff. All right. So that and that and then. All right. So how does this? Let's see how this guy looks. All right. Let's go grab this guy. All right. You can continue on. do this just for fun yeah I have no idea what this does <laughs> I'm sure it does something I'm sure you guys are gonna tell me but I'm not I'm not a I'm not a smart man all right so schematic table uh, creating a schematic. If a schematic is saved, it can be copied onto an empty schematic with a schematic table. This can be done across worlds. So, uh, planks and smooth stone. I do not know if I have smooth stone down here. I don't. Um, but I have a furnace and I have no coal. I have a little bit of coal. 
let's go ahead and ah, this is fine all right so we're gonna do that and then we need planks so let's go ahead and we'll grab this and we'll do that and that and this and that and there we go there's those wait on one more of these perfect all right i know that was a waste nope uh 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 schematic i know i could have just made it but all right so we got ourselves a schematic table this seems like something we should put here all right uh coal cart by portal well i opened a folder uh let's see I don't understand how any of this works. Oh, those are all the different ones that were in that fi file folder. Okay, so there's that, right? Oh, the schematic cannon is a special type of machine used to build structures with the use of schematics. Uh, it is useful contraption when it is primarily used within survival mode to deploy structures block by block. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can build this. So we need some more smooth stone, some blocks of iron, and some wood, and a dispenser. Which means we're going to have to go upstairs. All right, what's our time look like? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's head upstairs. So the idea is, is that we would find, um, let's see if we have a dispenser somewhere here. We would find, say, a tower, a building, something, right? Something we liked. And we would, uh, no one in here? No. And then we would, uh, basically copy it. Oh, dispenser, is that what we need? Right? Dispenser? Yeah, there we go. Um, we would basically copy it, right? And take it back, uh, take it back with us to um, our house and then have this cannon literally shoot the pieces. We'd have to get all the right pieces. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'd have to get all the right pieces and then it would basically shoot the schematic and build it for us wherever we wanted. Uh, the easiest way would be to literally, I mean, I would think, I'm guessing, I've never actually done this. I've seen it done. Um, I guess the easiest thing would be is take a schematic and then tear down the building because then you'd have the exact pieces because you tore down the building <sighs> except for things like glass and whatnot that would break if you had silk touch that would obviously be the easiest way but yeah all right so let's make this guy real quick just so that we have them I forgot uh, logs Mm -mm -mm. We use a couple of birch because we have the most of that down here for. Oh, I just clicked under the game. Hold on. I don't know. Yep, you guys can still see. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. So we make, and we're going to set this guy down. Look at him. And yeah, you put the schematic in. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's see. Did we get anything for that? We got gunpowder. I think that's an element. All right. So, schematic and quill, used to say blueprints of a structure. Empty schematic, used as a recipe ingredient and for writing at the schematic table. Okay, so to make a schematic, we need blue dye. Wait, is it light blue dye and paper? Okay, and then, all right, so we get, we're going to have to go upstairs for this stuff. Let's put this maybe in here that's for the, the cannon we're gonna put uh these items in as well why did i bring so many blocks of iron i guess i needed less than i thought i did and we'll just stick this in there there we go all right so let's head uh back upstairs teleport here okay um mm -mm -mm. do we have any light blue flowers uh blue flowers Eh, this isn't a big deal. We'll get uh, two of the... Actually, we only need one. And then one lapis. 
All right. And then we'll do that. And we'll do that. And we'll do that and that. And that'll make that. And then we just need a couple pieces of paper. Boom, boom. All right. And then we're going to do this and that gives us those okay and then i can put this paper back because i took too much and then we just need a feather there we go there's that and here and there all right so um use for saving a structure in your world to an nbt file Creating a selection, select two corner points using right click. Hold control and scroll to select a location midair. Adjusting and saving. Control scroll on the faces to adjust the size. Then R click again to save. So, how much time do we have? Zero minutes. All right, so maybe next time we're gonna go, maybe I'll look for a structure um, that I kind of dig. Probably something pretty basic for our first time, like a tower or something like that. And then uh, maybe in the next episode, like I said, we'll probably uh, take a schematic of it and then uh, see if we can move it. And maybe we'll put like a tower or a cool build or something. I'll be honest with you, there's a castle over there I really like, but I can't. Well, you guys saw the castle for sale. Um, but we could put another building here. We could even take a schematic of our, well, that'd be so much stuff we'd have to come up with. But, you know, we could take a schematic of, of some stuff, probably start basic, put it up over there, and I think that'd be pretty cool. So, all right, guys. Well, let me know what I did wrong. Let me know what I did right. Let me know what you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, the best way to support these videos is just to keep watching other things you can do that don't cost a damn thing other than a few moments of your time like subscribe click that bell leave a comment share on social media any any and all of that stuff help me out immensely if you guys want to go to the next level and get on this server plus seven others be in my discord hang out in my saturday streams do all that fun stuff you can do that by becoming a patreon go to the patreon link down below has all the information on that and if you guys uh Want to get your own server? Head on over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know you're confirming my videos. And don't forget, you guys can come watch me do the off-camera work on this every Tuesday. Most Tuesdays. Unless I'm not doing it, then I'm doing it. Does that make sense? Tuesdays, twitch.tv slash money 101, 12 o'clock Pacific time. And yeah, until next time, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.